Good morning, students. Welcome back to the online session of class ninth. That is chapter number two, polynomial. Now, in the previous class, we discussing about the number system, how the numbers that can be represent on the number line, how the numbers that can be classified in a form of rational number or irrational number, how the numbers that can be represented in a p by q form, how we can find the between numbers between two rational numbers or between two irrational numbers. how the decimal number that can be represent on a form of p by q or how the form of rational number that can be represent on to the decimal form as well as we can also discussing some of the classification method of simplification that based on to the factorization method that you have to taught in the standard 8 in which like a plus b whole square a minus b whole square a square minus b square so that type of formula we have to be discussing in the previous class now next chapter that is about the polynomial so first of all uh, what is the meaning of polynomial what do you mean by polynomial you just uh, know about the polynomial that can be classified according to the powers according to their uh, term wise so according to the power if you discussing like it should be a linear quadratic and cubic and according to the form of terms it should be monomial binomial and trinomial that we have to discussing in the formation so what do you mean by the polynomial first of all we have to understand so what is the standard form of chain of equation in a terms of polynomial so first of all a polynomial is what it is an algebraic expression algebraic expression it just contain the positive signs negative sign etc through that powers to the coefficient and always be polynomial that can be represent to the p of x polynomial in terms of x polynomial in terms of y that so any algebraic expression simple that any algebraic expression any algebraic expression simple formation any algebraic expression in terms of p of x p it mean with the polynomial in variable of x p of x means if we can be find the polynomial in variable of y that will be p of y whatever you can be used so any algebraic expression in terms of p of x and if you want to represent the polynomial x value how it can be represent for example here we can take a0 x raised to n okay plus simple we can be take like this examples a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 so up to infinitely formation will take this form plus a of n minus 1 into x plus a of n so this is the entire term which generally consider as a form of polynomial so any algebraic expression in terms of a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 a2 x raised to n minus 2 up to a n minus 1 into x plus a raised to n so that entire term is generally consider as a form of polynomial so n is what n is generally consider as a whole number n is generally consider as a formation of the whole number and uh, this all are a1 a0 a2 an minus 1 that is generally considered as a real number it will be taken as a real number and n is generally considered as a whole number so it is what like a0 a1 a2 up to a raised to n minus 1 that is generally considered coefficient a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 up to a raised to n minus 1 that is generally considered as a coefficient where n n minus 1 n minus 2 up to n that is considered as a power that is generally considered as a power uh for example we'll take a, a, for example uh for example i will take an example for example like p of x it is a polynomial in terms of x i will take any example for that like 3x raised to 4 3x raised to 4 minus 4x cube plus 6x square Minus seven x minus nine. That is the standard form we'll take here. So if we'll take three x raised to four minus four x cube plus six x square minus seven x minus nine in standard form of polynomial because power always be in terms of decreasing order. First of all, maximum power. Then later on we can be decrease it power up to coefficient term. And x is generally called as a variable. So in which example, like p of x, 3x raised to 4 minus 4x cube plus 3x x square minus 7x minus 9. That is the standard algebraic expression of polynomial. So if you want to coefficient, what are the coefficient? First of all, what do you mean by coefficient? So the numeric value, 
which is ahead of the nearest variable, which is generally considered the coefficient of that term. So for 3x raised to 4, coefficient is what 3 and power is what 4. For the term of minus 4x cube, minus 4 is the coefficient, 3 is the power. Plus 6x square, coefficient is 6 and power is 2. For the minus 7x, coefficient is 7 and power is not given, it means 1. So, if we want to find out the coefficient and power to any specific term, we have to be compared. For example, in this question, I want to find out the coefficient and power of term 6x square. So, for that 6x square, coefficient is 6, power is 2. So, any algebraic expression in a like this type of term is generally considered as a polynomial. So, that is generally considered as a polynomial. So, next form of the polynomial that is generally known as a zero polynomial. What do you mean by the zero polynomial? So, zero polynomial is what? Generally, uh, we will find out the values of any numbers. So, for any real number, let me take A. For any real number, A is said to be zero if P of A is equal to zero. What is mean by zero polynomial? Like for example, zero polynomial. So, for any real number, for any real number, we'll take x or whatever y. So, for any real number of value of x, it said to be zero polynomial when it value is zero. For example, p of x is equal to zero. So, for any real number of a value of a, it said to be zero polynomial when p of x is equal to zero. So, when we compare the uh, polynomial with the zeros will get the value of x that is called zero polynomial. For example, I'll take one example. Let p of x is equal to 3x minus 9. Okay. And we want to find out the zero polynomial. What is the zero polynomial of this term? Zero polynomial, it means you get the value of zero of equation 3x minus 9. So, which value of x that we have to apply in this equation, then we'll get the value of zero then it is called zeros polynomial. So, how we can we find the zeros polynomial to compare with the zero? So, p of x is equal to zero in terms p of, it should be p of x is what? 3x minus 9 is equal to zero, then 3x equal to 9, then x equal to 9 upon 3 is equal to 3. Okay? So, here is what? Zeros polynomial will get the 3. So, whatever the value of x, that should be applied in the equation and you will get the equation 0, that is called zeros of polynomial. So, 3 is generally known as what? Zeros of this polynomial 3x minus 9, then you will get the value of 0. So, any real number of value of x, it is said to be 0 polynomial when x equal to 0. Simple terms, that should be a remember. Now, also we can be discussing about like polynomials of geometric representation that we will discussing into the later on topics. But you have to remember that a polynomial that can be classified in a two terms, polynomials that should be classified according to the two terms. Now the polynomial, polynomial that is generally classified in two terms according to their power according to terms according to terms and second process according to power according to power according to power okay so polynomial classification that will be done by these two methods will can be classified polynomial according to their terms or we can classify polynomial according to their powers how it can be classified through the terms? According to terms, it should be also classified in three terms. One is called monomial. One is called monomial. Another is called binomial. And another is called trinomial. Another is called trinomial. These are the three terms according to their term. Now, according to power, how it can be classified according to the power? According to power, it should be also classified in three main categories. First is called linear, second is called as a quadratic, quadratic, and third is generally called as a cubic. So, if we can be classified the polynomial according to the terms that is monomial, binomial, and trinomial, and if we classified the polynomial according to the power, it should be 
linear quadratic and cubic monomial having one term it having the one term for example like 2x only one terms binomial having two terms two terms like uh, 2x plus 3y that two terms that should be separated by any mathematical operator trinomial having the three terms trinomial having three terms like for example 2x plus 3y minus 9 this is having the three terms now linear it should be according to the power if any equation having the maximum power 1 it is linear maximum power 2 that is called quadratic and maximum power 3 that is called cubic how can power that can be represented for example for example i will write here 3x plus 4 is equal to 0 power which have to seen on the always be variable here is variable is what x so we'll check here power of x is what not given it means 1 so 3x raised to 1 so maximum power of this equation is 1 so it is called linear equation now quadratic 3x square plus 4x minus 9 is equal to 0 so if you see this equation the maximum power of this equation is what 2 so maximum power 2 that should be always be in a form of quadratic equation now cubic equation ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equal to 0 so maximum power is what 3 so it is called cubic equation so if we classified the polynomial according to their terms and according to power it should be classified in a terms monomial binomial trinomial monomial having only one terms binomial having two terms and trinomial having three terms as well as according to the power a linear equation maximum power one quadratic equation maximum power 2 while the cubic equation maximum power 3 that can be easily classified according to the terms and power base of the polynomial now how uh, we can be discussing some of the examples how it should be classified okay, if we want to check out okay, the polynomial is available in one variable or not how we can be classified simple one question I'll take it is very easy chapters through the polynomial that also be used into the time standard this chapter also be used in the later on when we move into the 10 standard that is also in a detail about the polynomial so uh, first we'll take simple one example okay, I'll give some of the questions and that question is a polynomial in one variable or not that we have to identify okay the polynomial is in the uh, available of one variable or not that will be classified for example uh, I'll take one example 4x square minus 3x minus 7 okay I'll take one example 4x square minus 3x minus 7 so which of the this experiment formation of polynomial is a one variable or not so if we see that it is a part of polynomial because maximum power 2 1 and that should be in a form of standard decreasing order so it is a polynomial first of all it is a polynomial and how many variables are there only one x is only one variable so it is called polynomial in one variable polynomial in one variable right it is considered as a polynomial in one variable now it is very easy questions like now next question i will write here y square plus now square root of 2 i will write here square root of 2 so it is also part of polynomial because the variable is not in a form of square root or in a negative power not in a form of fraction or negative or variable formation will check here so it is also polynomial and variable is only one so it is also polynomial in one variable polynomial in one variable it is also a polynomial in one variable so it is very formation of easy like slightly i will change the question 3 square root of x plus uh, uh, 3 square root of x plus x square root of 2 like this type of question 3 square root of x and x plus square root of 2 so i told you variable not be in a form of fraction if we remove that square root it becomes 1 by 2 for example 3x if i remove square root it becomes 1 by 2 
प्लस एक्स रूट टू ओके सो हियर इज वेरिएबल इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ फ्रैक्शन सो इट इज नॉट अ पॉलिनॉमियल ऑलवेज यू रिमेंबर इफ द वेरिएबल इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ फ्रैक्शन और मे बी अ नेगेटिव इट नेवर बी अ पॉलिनॉमियल सो इट इज नॉट अ पॉलिनॉमियल इट्स नॉट अ पॉलिनॉमियल वेरी इजी टॉपिक्स कि विच आर द पॉलिनॉमियल्स आर देयर दैट वी कैन बी इजीली फाइंड आउट लेट वी टेक दैट अनदर एग्जाम्पल दैट डिनोमीटर फॉर्म लाइक x प्लस टू अपॉन x, x प्लस टू अपॉन x. हियर इज वेरिएबल इज वॉट इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ डिनोमीटर ओके वेरिएबल इज वॉट इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ डिनोमीटर डिनोमीटर दैट विल बी मूव इन अ न्यूमिनेटर द पावर दैट बिकम्स नेगेटिव हाउ इट कैन बी पॉसिबल सी दैट x प्लस टू एक्स रेज टू माइनस वन राइट सो पावर इज वॉट नेगेटिव द वेरिएबल x of power is what negative. So it is also not a polynomial. So it's not a polynomial. It's not a polynomial. Simple. I'll told you that which are the topics are polynomial or which are not a polynomial. Another we'll take example. X raised to thirty. Y raised to twenty. Z raised to fifty. Okay. X raised to thirty. Y raised to twenty plus Z raised to fifty. If you see that the power is in a positive term or not in a fraction, so it is a polynomial. But there is three different variable. X is a variable, Y is a variable, Z is a variable. So it is known as a polynomial in three variable, not in one variable. Three variable. So it is a polynomial, but in a three variable. So always be remember that if you have to find out the polynomial, that the given equation is polynomial or not, how you can be find? always be remember that polynomials term of a variable not in a form of negative power or not in a form of fraction power if it should be in a negative power or fraction power it never be a polynomial that is a very easy formation now uh, another we'll take how we can we find out the coefficient how we can we find the coefficient so later on we'll be discussing about some of the example how we can find the coefficient simple last topic we'll discussing about and we'll discussing about the degree right coefficient right coefficient of minus x square let me take one example right coefficient of minus x square uh, that right 4 minus y square simple one example 4 minus y square So four minus y square. There is no any terms of x. There is no any terms of x. So coefficient will be zero. There is no any term of x. So coefficient will be zero. If I we'll write here four minus x square. If I we'll write here four minus x square. So I want to write out the coefficient of minus x square. There is no any sign. That should be a one. So that should be one, right? Simply, I will take another example for that. Two minus x square. 2 minus x square plus x cube. 2 minus x square plus x cube. Here is what there is no any coefficient. The coefficient is what minus one. I'll just only find the coefficient of minus x square. Huh? If I have to find out the coefficient of x cube, then it should be plus one. So whatever the coefficient, it will be fine. For example, that can be easily noted through the formation of form like 2 plus x square. Plus one, two plus x square plus one. Here is coefficient is what? Coefficient is one. Okay, so that can be easily find out through the method of the coefficient through the x square. That can be easily find out. Now another example, uh, pi by two, x square plus one. So x square coefficient is what? Pi by two. Okay. So whatever the numeric value that will be given ahead of the variable, that can be known as a coefficient. So that is how we can we find the coefficient. Our next we'll discussing about the degree. How we can we find the degree of polynomial? How we can find the degree? To find out the degree of polynomial, degree of polynomial. How we can we find the degree of polynomial? So degree is what? the maximum power of polynomial that is considered as a degree of polynomial for example i'll write here 
नाइन माइनस सिक्स वाई स्क्वेर सिक्स माइनस वाई स्क्वेर सो डिग्री इज वॉट द मैक्सिम पावर इन दिस इक्वेशन इज वॉट टू सो डिग्री इज इक्वल टू टू ओके नेक्स्ट आई एल टेक फाइव एक्स रेस टू फोर माइनस सिक्स एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस नाइन एक्स माइनस फोर ओके सो हियर इज मैक्सिम पावर ऑन दिस इक्वेशन इज फोर सो डिग्री इज इक्वल टू फोर तो वॉट एवर द मैक्सिम पावर हैविंग द इक्वेशन दैट इज कॉल एज अ डिग्री नाउ इफ आल राइट हियर एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस एक्स दैट इज डिग्री इज टू सो सिंपल यू हैव टूडे डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द पॉलिनोमियल के वॉट इज कॉल पॉलिनोमियल हाउ इट शुड बी क्लासिफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर टर्म्स अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर पावर्स वॉट इज कॉल जीरो पॉलिनोमियल हाउ वी कैन फाइंड द कोफिशियंट हाउ वी कैन फाइंड द डिग्री हाउ वी क्लासिफाइड इट्स अ क्वाड्रिक और क्यूबिक और हाउ वी कैन बी डिटर माइंड द गिवन इक्वेशन इज पॉलिनोमियल और नॉट सो फॉर टूडे विल डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दिस टॉपिक ऑनली when we meet in the next type we just implement the values find how we can be find the values of polynomial that we'll discussing in the next lecture for today's we discussing about the what is polynomial what is zero polynomial how the polynomial classified according to terms according to powers how we can be classified the polynomial what is called coefficient and what is called degree okay when we meet tomorrow we'll discussing about how to find out the value of polynomial okay till today bye